Mike Moore Media. Let's check in with Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. He's on our media line right now. Hey, Eddie, we, uh, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing great, Mike Moore, and I hope you are. I am indeed. Always good to Wonderful. talk to you. Yep, and find out what's happening in the arts world in Stokes County. Always busy, always a lot going on, so let's jump right in. Yes, and uh, always busy is correct. And even you know, in the fall, this, this area of North Carolina, Southern Virginia, it gets even busier with all the fall festivals and mm-hmm. things that are happening. And, uh, and, and that's the truth here at Stokes Art. So we'll, we'll jump in with uh, this coming Saturday, uh, August 26th. we got multiple things going on. We have a artist receptions for two artists. Uh, Whitney Derner is our uh, Apple Gallery uh, current artist exhibiting. We have a reception for her this Saturday from 2.30 to 4. Wonderful work, a wonderful photographer, and also a painter. And at that same time, over in our Arts Place uh, flexible performance area, we have a pop-up show, which is a one-week exhibit by artists from the King Senior Center. And they've got everything from woodworking, jewelry, pottery. And so uh, we'll have multiple um, receptions going on at the same time, 2.34 p.m., this Saturday, uh, a great opportunity if you want to start. I'm going to bring up Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and talk. <laughs> right. I'm opening that door, Mike Moore. Sure, sure, do if, it. Let's do it. Look, <laughs> if you're looking in advance, folks, for to buy some original artwork and, and gifts uh, for those that are important to you at the holidays, uh, here's your opportunity. And and it's and we're already seeing that. Believe it or not, people mm-hmm. are already buying Christmas gifts. So uh, so that's Saturday. Uh, again, 2.34 p.m., and that's followed at 6 p.m. by a concert, uh, a group called Gray Matter. Uh, they're based out of the Piedmont Triad. Acoustical, great harmonies, and they're going to be playing just some, some old Simon and Garfunkel, some really cool songs that you may not have heard from a, in a, a while mm-hmm. from those 60s and 70s period. So and that's at uh, 6 p.m. on Saturday. Wow, Saturday is a big day for sure. It is a big day, yeah. So it's visual arts and performing arts, and uh, uh, right now, weather-wise, I think they're calling for it's going it's to be a great weekend. So, mm-hmm, and, and we'll be getting a lot of, uh, before school goes back full-time, We get, this is kind of the last weekend for uh, a lot of our um, Hanging Rock visitors, as far as the, the really big numbers. Mm-hmm. And then we follow that up the, the next weekend, our um, uh, Labor Day weekend, uh, Friday, September 1st. This is really exciting for me to announce this. And uh, John McEwen and the Circle Band. Now, John McEwen, a uh, former member of the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, mm-hmm. and he was the primary member who who pushed this project called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Oh, yeah. Which kind of brought country, uh, the old country, back into prominence. And uh, they recorded this album with some of those just old greats using you know the songs by the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers. And so that's what this show is going to be about. Uh, John McEwen and the Circle Band are going to be playing some, some great old country and uh, might even throw in a few of his nitty-gritty dirt band tunes and great stories. And he's also going to be selling his book, uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? So about the making of that album. Yeah. So that... We're just super excited to have him here because in that genre of music, he is, you know, he's considered the, the leader. He's, 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 he's a man. Yeah. So uh, we still have tickets left uh, remaining for that, and we're, we're pretty sure that's going to be a sold-out show. So again, September 1st. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And then on September 9th, the 49th <laughs> Stoke Stomp Festival on the Dan River, uh, that's just going to be just a huge day for us. Uh, we'll be celebrating 50 years next year, 2024, but this is the 49th main stage, uh, just a full lineup, the Stokes Junior Appalachian Musician Kids, Old Dominion Cloggers out of, out of Southern Virginia, Old Men in Hats, uh, an incredible trio that's going to be playing a lot of old classics uh, from Sinatra and good, I, I can't even name all the, the, the folks in their set list that they perform. Gypsy Soul, a great uh, kind of pop R&B band, and the Burnett Sisters, uh, which is uh, old time bluegrass, and uh, we've got great dance groups. The Stoke Stomp Parade, sponsored by the town of Danbury, that kicks off at 10 a.m. that morning, uh, again September 9th. And uh, we have our high school bands. Just a lot of great, just a great event. It's a, it's a great way to celebrate 
I guess the the kickoff of the fall season for us. Mm-hmm. Stoke Stomp. So that is uh, September ninth. September ninth. It's free admission. There's no admission. There's free parking. There's shuttle service available. Uh, all the entertainment's great. We don't give away the fr- free food, but but you have to do pay for food. But uh, the mu- beautiful Mortock Park right next to the Dan River. So folks come and there'll be. Uh, river activities for the kids and and just uh, just a lot of great vendors and music and it's just a great great celebration for us. Mm-hmm, sure. And then looking ahead, we've got to, you know we encourage folks visit our our social media page, uh, Stokes County Arts Council, our website stokesarts.org, the Arts Place of Stokes. Also, that's our that's our venue, and we have a social media page, a Facebook page with that, and you can read about uh, different classes that are coming up. I know we've got wreath class and some hand-building classes coming up. And then before you know it, we're going to be into October where the Foothills Farm Festival, we help sponsor that, a big agricultural event here in Lawsonville. Uh, we've got Rocktoberfest uh, promoting our rock and roll bands and uh, Reach the Peaks Challenge this year uh, up at Hanging Rock State Park. That's on October 21st. Almost an 11 mile route, and that's going to uh, follow the Mount Sea Trail here in Stokes County. And just, I, I think you said it best when you said busy, uh, Mike, <laughs> earlier. And uh, good gracious, and uh, it's just a lot. But we're, we're just uh, excited about the fall season ahead, and we appreciate you and all of your support of everything we're doing. And, and it doesn't get any better than Stokes and Rockingham counties, buddy. You bet. Yep, I'm on your <laughs> Facebook page right now, uh, Stokes County Arts Council, kind of scrolling through, looking at all of these things coming up. That's the best uh, best place to find out the, the schedules, right? It is. It is. And um, uh, we, we're, we're updating it daily. Mm-hmm. And so we, we encourage folks because we're always looking ahead and, and scheduling things. And, uh, I mean, we're already into 2024 working on theatrical productions and a Hank Williams tribute band, and it's just, uh, it's a good time. And, and we like to just encourage folks to uh, just get involved in your arts, whether it's Rockingham County Arts Council, Stokes County Arts Council, everyone's got a creative side. And and so uh, find that find that artist within yourself. And then, uh, and then our, don't forget our Rockies Coffee Shop. I think mm-hmm. you and I were talking about mm-hmm. apple pies and, yeah. and goodies like that. And uh, so... Come and make a day of it or a weekend here in Stokes County, Hanging Rock State Park, close by the Dan River and the Arts Place of Stokes and Rocky's Coffee Shop. So oh we got you covered. Yeah, you have. And thank you for this <laughs> report and the update you, and for making it happen for us. All of these good opportunities. Thank you, Eddie McGee. Absolutely. You're the best. Mike Moore. Uh, Keep up the great work. You're the friend. best, too. <laughs> we'll talk again next month. <laughs> Sounds great. Looking forward to it, Mike. Right, thanks a lot, Eddie. <laughs> Bye. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Our friend Eddie McGee, Executive Director of the Stokes County Arts Council. Yes, I get excited just to hear all of the good things happening in Stokes County. Uh, Please go to the uh, Facebook page of Stokes County Arts Council and uh, keep up to the minute on all of the good things happening there. And uh, support the arts wherever you are. And uh, thanks, Eddie.